Are, are, are you ready? I'm kind of excited about this because I don't live in the suburbs, so I don't have to listen to all of this. You're excited about cicada getting? <laughs> I am. I think it's going to be fun. Well, get ready because <laughs> it's just weeks away. So before the invasion, though, there are some things that you can actually do to keep the pests from sticking around. Tia is in Studio <laughs> 32 with the tips. I don't know Help why. I remember the last time. It was kind of interesting, you know? Yeah. You said you were excited for it. I mean, you might be the only one, Sylvia. <laughs> but here is still could impact you depending on where you travel to. If you don't live near Midway or O'Hare, you really hear planes overhead, but that is about to change this year. It's a rare double dose of cicadas coming, and they sing, we are told, as loudly as jet engines. Yes, get ready. We're just weeks away from hearing their mating call. Robbie Smith, who you see there with RB Pest Solutions, is used to tracking critters in alleys in the rattiest city in America right here in Chicago. But now she's preparing to tally, tally up all the cicada calls as they prepare to emerge from the ground this spring. They usually leave their underground hiding places when the ground heats up to about 64 degrees. And that's happening a bit earlier than usual because of climate change. Unlike locusts, that snack on plants. Periodical cicadas enjoy a diet of small branches. Most trees won't be touched, but Smith is suggesting that you maintain your lawn. Make sure that landscaping in our shrubs is cut as low as possible because that's the perfect way to detect if they're there. Well, using insecticide is not advised. I know some people want to do it because animals in the wild, they actually eat cicadas and some dogs pick them up and then spit them out. And that means it can have a big impact on the ecosystem and also the family pet. So just look at it this way. They are only here for a short time and they won't be back until 2037. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and Terrence, we'll get through it. Yeah, kind of like the eclipse. You we know, have no you, choice yeah, but to get event. through it. Yeah, but they're so noisy. They are really loud. And then they fly loud. in your face. Yes. That we're going to be. There's you just wait. We're going to be doing so many cicada stories, right? Yeah. We're already making a list of them. Because they'd be out there <laughs> bomb chicken wow wow and stuff, and then they make more. Oh for yeah, that's a whole other thing. Did you hear about that, Emily? Uh, well. Um, well, I think I've heard about it, and I chose to forget about that part. <laughs> I'm, I'm mostly good choice. I'm mostly thinking about how they leave their little exoskeleton all over the yeah. place. You know, like the shell. Ugh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Shells of the bus. Very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Lovely way to yes. describe that, You're Terrence. Welcome. Yes. Okay, so 